This food assistance line in downtown Brooklyn has sometimes stretched around the block throughout the pandemic, and things have only gotten worse during the last few weeks and months as much of the help from the federal government has stopped. Um, I'm already four months pregnant. I have a nine year old struggling with the remote learning struggling with uh, trying to move. That's why Crystal Romero, who's worked off and on during the pandemic, found herself waiting on a food assistance line this afternoon. She wants politicians in Washington to hear her story and see these faces to know there's a lot of pain out there right now. It's been really hard and difficult to try to just make it through being that I'm in the predicament that I am at the moment and I don't have any much resources that I wish I had. President Trump tweeted just three days ago that he would stop negotiating new stimulus until after the election. The bipartisan backlash was swift and the stock market dipped. He quickly began tweeting about smaller proposals like a standalone bill for $1,200 stimulus checks and asked Congress to approve $25 billion for airline payroll support and $135 billion for the Paycheck Protection Program for small businesses. Democratic House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has systematically rejected a piecemeal approach, having just passed a $2.2 trillion package that included state and local government relief. Republicans are against that. There is no standalone bill without a bigger bill. Then early this afternoon, amidst stubbornly high weekly unemployment claims and struggling poll numbers, CNBC reported President Trump told chief negotiator, Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin, he'd go as high as 1.8 trillion. Then by mid afternoon, President Trump on the radio with conservative firebrand Rush Limbaugh once again changed his bargaining position. I would like to see a bigger stimulus package, frankly, than either the Democrats or the Republicans are offering. I'm, I'm going in the exact opposite now. You may recall several months ago, the Democrats were pushing and passed a $3 trillion package that's really no longer on the table. And Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell does not expect a deal, he said today, until after the election. In downtown Brooklyn, Henry Rossoff, PIX11 News.